Hello and thanks for joining me today. This is Mike and I wanted to show you the progress of my diamond painting. So as you can see, um, this whole section has been done. And so this is really cool. I think this is my favorite part so far. It's really shiny. I don't know if I can even get that in the camera, but you can see it shining up here, but I don't know. These are um, the whites are AB crystals or has AB crystal in them. So they're really sparkly and it's really cool. So I'm going to zoom you in. We're going to work on this section. I started this section. Um, I actually, long story short, I will tell you, well, let me zoom in and then I'll finish my story. But we're going to do this section here. So I'll resituate the camera and I'll meet you right back. Actually, before I did, I want to show you, I don't know if I introduced this on my last video, but these are the magnifying glasses that I use. It has a light. It's not very bright, <laughs> but I keep, I have like four or five lights on in here. So it's pretty bright in my room. So this wouldn't matter anyhow, but it does come in handy. Um, these are interchangeable and all they do is pop right out and pop right back in. This one is a 2.5 times magnific magnification and it comes with, I don't see it sitting on my desk here, but it comes in a little case and it has uh, five total of these and um, they range from I think from two to ten if I'm not mistaken. So um, there are five of these. So when I'm wearing these, you, <laughs> you kind of can see it a little magnified underneath there. When I'm wearing these, I don't even need to wear my glasses. Um, and I prefer not to because this piece here, let's see if you can see that, this piece here um, kind of pushes down on my glasses. And so it pushes my glasses down and it's a little uncomfortable. However, when I have these on, I don't need my glasses anyways. So even if I'm wearing my contacts, um, it's much more comfortable without or just wearing these and not even having my contacts in. So, all right. I just wanted to introduce these. Uh, these I did purchase off Amazon. They really weren't expensive. I think they were under $20. So, but I use them every single time because otherwise there's no way that I'd be able to see those little tiny, <laughs> those little tiny, uh, uh, designs, or I'm not even sure what you call them, L the little uh, symbols, I guess you would call them. So let me bring you down and we will start working on this section over here. All right, so I think I have everything ready. Now, what I was going to tell you is this is actually the third time I am attempting to record. Um, the first time I recorded my, I have a setup where I can either use my camera or I can use my cell phone. Um, and I like the cell phone because I have an app and I can stream it to my iPad and I could see what I'm recording when I'm using my camera, it's a little bit more difficult. I can still do it, but it requires me to hook up my computer and it's just a little bit more cumbersome. So I, I'm trying to get this so you guys can see it. Um, I guess you guys can see that. So long story short, I had it set up and I forgot to put my calls on do not disturb because if I get a call while I'm filming using that app, it disconnects or it stops my, um, my recording. And so I had gone a good half hour before I really realized it. I mean, I kept looking at the, the, uh, the video or the, the monitor to next to me to make sure that I was live. And it looked like I was, and then all of a sudden it froze. And when I went to go check it, it had uh, I had froze from the beginning. So 
I decided, well, I'll just do it again because, you know, what's not to like about diamond painting? It wasn't like I was doing a lot of my uh, content on my channel is a, is a tutorial. So if I'm doing a card tutorial, I have to actually, if I had to do it over, I'd have to cut out the product again and I'd have to get all my supplies ready again and I'd have to set things up. But with diamond painting, let me zoom you guys in here a little bit. But with diamond painting, can you guys see where I'm working? Yeah, I guess so. So, but with diamond painting, it's not like I really have to do anything, but just pull out my drills again and go. And it's fun. And so there you go. So the second time <laughs> I started doing it, I noticed that my head was in the shot a good majority of the time so you guys had no idea what I was doing except just looking at the top of my head and I also noticed that I wasn't talking loud enough even though I have a microphone on um, you still couldn't hear, hear me so <laughs> I, I deleted that video so I'm saying so a lot because I'm uh, you know, you'd think that this was the first time that I've actually made a video on my channel. Um, it's, you know, I, it's actually, I want to say it, it, it's been a, a, a while, you know. I did the unboxing video about almost a month ago, but before that, my last video was, you know, months, months and months earlier. So yeah, I guess it was kind of, you know, getting used to the whole process again. So now this process is even different because uh, normally I, when I'm doing a tutorial, so this I don't consider a tutorial. This is what we're, this is what they call, what, when I say they, I mean the people that do diamond art. They call it whip and chat for WIP for work in progress. Um, so that's technically what we're doing. Um, when I'm doing that, so it's not like I really have to say, this is how you do this. I'm teaching you how to do this. Uh, generally, if you are watching me, you are just watching me paint. So um, I'm trying to fill, so like, so basically I have a script when I do my tutorial. I, show you how to put things together regardless of what it is but this doesn't really have a script this is just me creating dialogue and for the lack of a better term rambling <laughs> so so let me go back to uh, whip and chat you know that is what the industry calls this I don't I'm not really fond of that because I mean, technically, yes, this is a work in progress, but I kind of like craft and chat or paint and chat a little bit better for my channel. So, and nobody says I have to use the terminology that everybody else uses. So, if you could, please leave me some comments down in somewhere, down here somewhere. What, um, what you guys think? What should we call this segment? of when I'm working on my diamond art painting and chatting with you. So I don't mind the word chat, but I don't know, I'm not too keen on whip and chat, but it might grow on me, I don't know. So, and I'm also trying so hard to not stick my head in the camera because tech normally my face would be right over so right now you guys are right overhead and I'm kind of sitting back a little bit so that you guys can see. And I don't know if you really can see or not, but I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to next time sit the camera on a little bit of an angle. So you guys are looking a little bit sideways so you can actually see these being placed because otherwise you're just looking on top. And I don't know if you guys want to see that. I haven't watched enough of other, I have not watched another, I'm trying to speak. I'm going to tell you my story about that in a second. Um, 
I don't know if I've watched enough other YouTube videos on diamond painting to know how they set up their camera, but that is something that I probably should do. So, my words. When I get nervous, and yeah, I am nervous because I'm just trying to think of content to talk about. So sometimes when I get nervous, I will just say weird things. They don't have to be in an order. I will just, I don't even know. You'll notice it. I know you will. And so I refer to it as my Ricky Ricardo speech. So I'm sure you may or may not, the people that are watching this may know who that is. Um, and he has a, although it's definitely not um, okay as far as um, stereotyping and making fun of a ethnic group, but um, he had an accent and he was always made fun of it by his wife, Lucy. Definitely, uh, you would not be doing that nowadays, but I make fun of myself by saying that is my Ricky Ricardo language or speech when I get nervous. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm also trying to make sure that I, I speak a little bit more loudly because I did, like I said, when I did the other video, I noticed that my audio was really low, even though I have the microphone sitting, it's clipped to the very top of my shirt. So I know I'm giving you guys all these little technical tidbits so yeah so oh and i also did this um probably in one of the videos that <laughs> i recorded that nobody got to see but me um i finished the pumpkin and i'm really excited i like way one of the things that i really like about this painting is i showed you the lantern that had the uh, the really shiny I sh well, I'll show you a close-up of that at the end, if I remember. Um, if not, for sure, the next time. Um, really shiny. The light is, like, really shiny. And I like these bright colors. And so, like, the, the jack-o'-lantern is lit up. And I, that's one of the things I really liked about this project. Now, I think... For those of you that did not watch my um, original video of unboxing, this is what we're making. So I am doing the Haunted House. It's called Halloween Haunted House from Diamond Art Club. Um, it was on clearance. Obviously, they probably don't have a lot of people that purchase this after Halloween, except if you really love stuff like that, like I do. So that's one of the things I think, not only do I love haunted houses, but I loved this moon and that it had all of these areas lit up. The jack-o'-lanterns are lit up, the lights are lit up, the lanterns. This is the side that I just finished, this little section over here. This is where we're working on now, down here. And um, look at that. I don't even know if I noticed that before. It is a cute, adorable little outhouse that is also has a little moon and a little light on it. Too cute. So I'm just really in love with this. So I'm having a lot of fun. This is actually a huge, huge painting. It is 31 by 22 inches or 79 centimeters by 56 centimeters. And it is, that's pretty big. So, <laughs> and it has 42 colors. So I'm working on, since I also do paper crafting, I'm kind of working on a racking system made from paper so that using my electronic cutting machine, so that I could store at least the good majority of these trays in a little racking system on my desk. So because I did notice the issues that I have, and I know they have them for sale, but I want all 42 of my colors sitting in a tray in a rack. 
and that gets costly. And I, I don't want to invest that much money initially because this is only my second painting. Now I do, depending on how this goes, if I'm really into it still, then yeah, I probably will start investing money into that. But as of right now, I don't want to really purchase any storage systems until I know for sure that I'm probably going to do a few more. And as of right now, I, I intend to. So I just noticed this thing is slipping down. <laughs> I must be pushing or I don't know. I must be having like the death grip. There we go. So speaking of, I wanted to go over this. So I did um, make one of my own pens out of clay, out of polymer clay. Um, because originally the thinner pens were cramping my fingers. Um, and so I made this just, just to see if I would like it because they do sell, um, I don't know, I think they're made out of resin, um, but they do sell really, really, really beautiful pens, diamond art painting pens, and I am fixing to get me one soon. And when I do, I will make sure to show you um, but this is one that I made. Um, it's sticky because I sealed it with Mod Podge, I believe, because I didn't have anything else. And for some reason, it is sticky, so I don't like using it. But it wasn't sticky when I first uh, made it, which was when I did my other painting. Actually, I've done one and a half before this one. I finished my... Jack Skellington one, and then I started my second Jack Skellington one, and then I saw the advertisement for this one by accident, <laughs> and I was like, I have to have that, and so I really wanted to start on this one before I finished my Jack Skellington. Um, so in the meantime, I had created that pen, and I used that pen on those, and so I do know that it it felt more comfortable using a thicker pen. Um, I guess maybe I'm used to it now, so this one doesn't bother me. Or maybe because I'm using with the little foam grippy, I don't know, but I'm digging it. The other thing that I am digging, and I didn't at first, was the one and a half kits that I finished previously were, were um, round drills so so these are square that was round and it was much easier to paint and I think a little bit quicker because you're just and you really didn't have to pay attention how they were going down because they were circle well because these are square I can't put them on diagonally I can only put them in the little space squarely so <laughs> When I first started doing it, I'm like, oh my gosh. And you, you probably can see, well, I don't know if you can see or not. But when you're putting these down, they at first glance, they're kind of like, oh my gosh, this is going to look really messy because they're not lining up next to each other. And that was one of the whole things is that square were supposed to look nicer because they touched and lined up next to each other. And my lines weren't straight. But... Once you start filling in around, I noticed that things kind of just align themselves. So I'm not really worried about it anymore. And now that I've gotten a good, I don't want to say a good majority of this done, but I want to say now that I've really had a chance to deep dive into this, I do enjoy the square. There's a couple reasons why. And I'm trying to bring this down so that you guys can still see, and I am not getting in the camera. So one of the other things that I do actually enjoy, and I didn't think I, I would because um, one of the videos I watched, somebody had mentioned it. it's like popping um, the bubble wrap. And it kind of really is because depending on how you place, can you guys still see this? Yeah, I guess I'm still on camera. Depending on how you guys place these, 
if you let me see if I can do this um, if you if you make like a checkerboard I know I'm like now that I'm on the spot I'm like I don't even know what a checkerboard looks like <laughs> um, so if you make like a checkerboard and I'll show you and then you start filling it in you have this like little clicking where the you're filling in that little space and it is kind of satisfying after you know when you think about it because I don't sometimes you can hear the click and I'll, I'll when I'm ready to fill it in I will be quiet and see if you guys can hear that um, but it is it is a little satisfying so okay I'm going to fill in some of these now and you guys can listen okay that one wasn't because it was at the end so this one nothing see did you hear that there was a click there that one had a little click that one had a click so you get a little bit of the um the little snap i guess it's almost just like a snap so it is a little satisfying when you do that so yeah so I am really enjoying the square versions of the kits. So again, this is my first and I don't anticipate this being my last. I really like the way this is coming out. And the other kits that I, I did, they were from Amazon. Um, and it, you know, the first one I did, I, I liked the way it came out, but it really wasn't that detailed. And so I was a little disappointed and again, you know, I guess it depends. You get what you pay for. Those, I had got four of them for like $10. <laughs> so they are really inexpensive, but you do get what you pay for. And I am learning that the bigger you go, the more detail you can have. And if you use square, then it even shows more detail. So I definitely am a proponent. I think that's the word I want to use. I am for the square and the big ones, although it can be overwhelming. So when I first took this out of the box, I'm like, holy cow, this thing is big. <laughs> like, And then I was overwhelmed. But I watched enough videos and let me move this out of the way so you can see. So I did watch an, enough videos to know that if you lay some washi tape down, and you section off sections, um, it becomes more manageable. And it is a little bit, well, it is satisfying when you've actually finished a section because then you're like, oh my gosh, I've accomplished a section. And I, the last, I usually try to do about one to two hours a night. So I used to be a night owl way, 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 way back when. And then I became a early bird where I would go to bed as soon as I could because I liked to be in bed and watching TV and all nice and cozy. Um, but now that I am diamond painting, I find myself staying up until 10, 11 o'clock now. So I usually start about 8-ish and it's quiet i'm in my office the door is closed it's really quiet i don't even put music on half the time just because i like the the quietness and to hear the the rustle of the plastic and the click of the drills and so it's really quiet in here sometimes i'll listen to music but not not usually if i do i have my earbuds in so i really can't hear anything that's going on so I think if I am correct, did I finish all the F's? Probably not. I will probably find some more in a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to scooch this back a little bit and we're going to work on the blacks. So I, this is, I got this tray and it came in a kit from Amazon. And I like this so much because 
it holds a lot. <laughs> and not that I do this because I haven't mastered the multiplacer, but on the back of the back of this is a multiplacer, and I think it's got six. And so if you drop it down there, you can pick up six. But uh, yeah, that doesn't work for me. And it could just be this multiplacer um, or the tray, because if I try in the green, I can sometimes pick these up if I try them in the green tray. But the issue with the green tray is that I never get these really nice long strands. So, yeah. Yeah. And this has a lot of blue sky in it, as you can see from the photo. So it would be really helpful to be able to multi-place those. But, yeah. So I can't. Not yet, anyways. So, But I do like this big tray just because things slide really easily and I can hold, obviously, a whole bunch in here. So, yeah. So now we're going to go on the black. And hopefully you guys can still see. Like I said, I'll probably watch. I need to watch some other people do this and so that I can make sure that I have the best setup for you. Um, I think my sticky is starting to come undone. So let me talk about sticky for a second. So... I know from watching, like I said, I I haven't watched a lot, but I haven't paid attention. See, here comes my uh, my mind blinking. So I have watched a few. I didn't pay attention to how they filmed. I did see that people were talking about waxes, though. Now I went out and I purchased a bunch of different waxes. And I'm going to tell you, I'm probably the, I don't know, the one that works great for me is just these little cheap ones that I got from Amazon. They last me a good 35 to 45 minutes. Um, this is the one that I got from Diamond Art Club, the little heart. This doesn't last me as much as these do. And these don't ooze out. Some of the other ones that I purchased... Um, I don't know if I'm not using them correctly. So until I either learn how to use them or somebody teaches me how to use them, I'm not going to show those. But yes, so these, I mean, I'm, I, I loaded this up before we started and with that little cheap, these little cheap squares, and I haven't had to load back. So yeah. And I don't see these little pink or whatever color wax oozing out all over the thing, out, all over the place, which I kind of don't like the look of. So, yeah. So that is yes. So I showed you my magnifying glasses. What else? What other tools do I have? Oh, I have bought this. This is a roller or a brayer, and so I use it when I'm done with my little section to make sure that all of my pieces are stuck down. For my paper crafting friends that are watching, um, I also, you know, I talked to my mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> and I was like, look what I bought. I was so excited because I have a brayer. She goes, well, I just use a rolling pin when I'm done with the project. And I'm like, Yes, that definitely works. I mean, I don't have a, you know, I, I could see that. But I was excited because the brayer actually was twofold for me. When I am putting my paper down on my cutting mat for my machine, if I use the brayer and just roll it up, oh my gosh, look at I'm got stucky stuff. If I just um, roll the brayer over my paper a couple times really quickly, and it takes like literally just a few seconds, it sticks so much better, and I get such a nice cut, such a better, nicer cut than if I didn't. And 
I don't know. So to me, I was like, yeah, that thing was like a couple bucks from Amazon. <laughs> I'm like, and not only can I use it in my diamond art, but now I can also use it in paper crafting. And I do. I do, I do, I do. So yeah. So I don't remember, but I was thinking about creating a paper storage. I think, did I talk about that already? Um, I want to get storage, but I don't know if I want to invest the money at the time, so I'm making the paper storage. Yes, I think I did talk about that. Um, but the point was I was making about that is I'm really afraid that either if I make one or I buy one, I'm clumsy enough where I'm going to, if I keep them all in the trays, I'm probably going to knock that stand over and I'm going to have a big glitter mess or confetti mess. And I know me, I know me, I know me, I know me. <laughs> and so, because as it is, you know, I knock trays over and things as it is. So that is one concern for me. Um, I do, you know, I do keep, like this you saw, I just picked it up because this is the black and because there's a, a lot of black in this picture as well, I'm just keeping it in the big blue one just because I know I'm going to use it. But, and it's flat on my desk. If I were to get a storage rack that is raised a little bit, I'm really afraid that I'm going to knock it over. Um, where I am is I have two desks in my room and this is my office. So this desk is just like a regular home office desk where it goes up against your wall and I have my cutting machine facing that way up that direction. <laughs> and so I don't use that every day. And I also have, because that's kind of what I do, is tutorials and whatnot. Um, I also have a machine that direction <laughs> on another desk. And on that desk is like a C shape. So it goes on three walls or two walls. It goes on two walls, but it's got like three sections because it has a diagonal in the middle. I'll have to show you one day. And so I'm able to not only have my work desk or my work set up there where I work, like day, you know, my day job, um, but I also have my another cutting machine and a cutting mat that I can sit on that desk. So if I do need to cut something out, I don't have to move this stuff at all. So that is a little bit of a sigh of relief for me. I dropped one of these and I can't get it up, but I think it's supposed to go there anyways. Um, so yeah, so I, I might not have to move things around, but in the event that I do, I'm really afraid that I'm just gonna spill things all over the place. And <laughs> if it's on camera, I will definitely show that as a blooper. I, I, that, that's, that's gonna be a funny one. So, but yeah, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this. This is a definite, a definite, this is definitely, there I go with those words again. This is definitely something different than I normally do on my channel. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Um, I was thinking about doing a live and the first thing that came to mind was that, first of all, well, I guess I'm in that right now is what do I talk about? And it's, I guess it's the same thing right now is what do I talk about? But at least you guys can interact with me. And then I was thinking, well, if you guys were interacting with me, then, and my face was in here, how would I read the comments? And then I thought, well, I guess I would just have to pay more attention to you guys and answer your questions. And then I thought I could probably have somebody read those questions and then we can talk or I could just pause and answer questions and chat and do all that fun stuff. 
So I need to know from you guys what you think of that. I have a lot of assignments from for you today. So what do you think of a live where we interact with each other? What do you think of, move this back so you guys can see, what do you guys think I should call this segment? Should it be craft and chat, whip and chat, yada yada, whatever? And do you actually like this format to begin with on my channel? So lots of things I'm curious about. I am, I am. So, yeah. But this is just relaxing. And I'm super excited that I got a lot done already over the last few weeks. Um, after the holidays were over, I still was a little bit busy with things. But then everything got back to normal and I had time again. And then I also became a night owl again. <laughs> So, because it's quiet. So, yeah. So, I might need to reload this wax because I'm starting to see that things aren't picking up anymore. So, yeah. So, yes. Now, this is the part of the video where I'm like, I think I've talked about everything. All my bullet points. I need to start writing things down, I guess. Um, but then, like I said, uh, this is the third time that I'm recording. You guys, did, nobody saw the first two except me. Well, the first one didn't get recorded. Um, hopefully this one does, because I'm checking to make sure that I am not, my head is not just right under the camera, and that's all you're looking at. Um, so much that... It's a little uncomfortable, just because I'm looking, I'm probably, you know, seven or eight inches away to the side, so I, I can kind of see what I'm doing, but normally I would be right over like a hawk, <laughs> staring right down. And this is kind of big where I can't really angle it either. I mean, maybe you could, I don't know. I'm not that uh, I'm not that talented to know how to do that yet. So, but I'm hoping you guys, you know, I know you guys are just seeing my hand do that, but hopefully you guys can kind of see after I move it. Oh wait, there's a nice little little drill there now. <laughs> so yeah. So these black ones with the white circle are three tens and I think I've memorized that because this has a lot of black in it also so I think I did show you guys this but I think I'm going to show you guys it again for those who didn't see my first video please go check out it's the unboxing of this one um, it's probably not the last one because I did a card tutorial but it's the one before that so within the same month but so see I'm dropping things so these I come with I have the little guide here this has the number on it so like that says 3787 and I look over here and 3787 symbol isn't the F and tells you what color it is that's the color and so then you match them up so that is the process so I really like the fact that this has a nice I don't even know what you call this pamphlet guide um, it is printed there's one down here on the bottom right hand side of the painting and if you I'm gonna try to show you and then there's also one up at the top right or top left. So the bottom right and top left. So when you're working and spinning this thing around, you have one at your leisure. But then this is, 
I didn't think at first, I'm like, what am I going to do this? What am I going to use this for? But believe it or not, I do. And it's in really big print, so I can see it at a glance. And yeah, so I love this. And kudos to the McNeil Studio, because this is a really nice drawing. I love this. This art is amazing. Super, super neat. But the ones that I've seen on the Diamond Art Club, they're just all blow me away. They are so cool. And yeah, so I go on there and I just look to see what they have. I'm not ready to buy anything. But then again, I wasn't ready to buy this one. <laughs> I just like, oh, let's just look on the site. And I was like, oh my gosh, that haunted house. I have to have that. And the next thing you know, it was accidentally in my cart and I was accidentally pushing that checkout button and it was delivered really quick. And that was around Christmas time. That was my Christmas present. And then it sat for about a month because I wanted to do an unboxing on camera and I just was so busy with just a lot of different things. Um, nothing bad but just busy and I didn't get the chance to do the unboxing and I wasn't going to start this until I did because that was you know the whole point was if I when I buy this this is this is gonna be part of my YouTube channel you know I'm going to be painting and I wanted to do the unboxing and so I waited until I had the time and I'm glad I did um, part of me really, really wanted to just rip this up and or rip the box up open and start because it's it's really a lot of fun and I was excited to see, like I said, the um, the bright colors. So this whole section here has just got me all happy, as well as the lights. So really cool. So yeah. But yeah, so. I think I'm probably going to finish up this little section here and I'm probably going to end the end of the video because what I would like to do for the rest of the evening is edit this so that I can get it posted for you guys in the morning. And last night I I don't know, it was 11 I think it was like 11 o'clock when um Hopefully you guys can still see. I know my head wasn't in the shot. <laughs> um, last night I went to bed. It was probably around 11, 11.30, maybe midnight. I don't even know. Um, but I didn't fall asleep until, and I was in bed, but I didn't fall asleep until like 3. And then I woke up at like 8.30, and I was so groggy this morning. It was really weird. So, needless to say, I am a little on the tired side tonight. So, I want to make sure that I have enough time tonight to edit this video. Now, normally when I do a tutorial, much like this, there's not going to be a whole heck of a lot of editing because, I mean, what's there to edit? There's not much to edit in this. Um... If I was doing a tutorial and I was interrupted, I'd have to edit that out. Or if something happened, I'd have to edit that out. But there's really not much to edit out in a video like this. But I do have to put it in my program, put the opening, do the closing, put my transitions in, render it. Render it pretty much means that I take it from the format that it is. And it makes it into a format that I can upload to YouTube in a nice little pretty package. And then I have to create a graphic for, gra for YouTube and then upload it. And depending on the video, it could, take, it could take five minutes to upload or it could take an hour or an hour and a half to upload. Um, this video is looking like it's a little over 40 minutes, so... It probably won't, won't take that long to upload. And, and it's not like I have to sit and babysit it. Once I say upload, I'm pretty much done. 
YouTube takes care of the rest. However, I do want to get that process started. And I'm really afraid, and I think it's the OCD in me, is once you, you're on a roll, I'm really afraid that... I know I'm working on these circle, these black squares with the white circles, but I'm really afraid that I'm just going to... My mind's just going to start wandering, and then I'm just going to start filling in you know, drills just wherever because I'm not paying attention. <laughs> That's kind of like a fear of mine. So I want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So, yeah, before I uh, do that. And then, like I said, I the same wax. It start, I can tell it's starting to um, not stick every time. But again, this was the wax that, the cheap Amazon wax that I got. I got a storage container which I thought was going to be handy and uh, not really because it's just a square storage container and I put all of my colors from the other kit in and I think for this kit it would have been more beneficial to do because it's large whereas the other one was small and I think it was overkill and I filled up all my bins and I guess I really didn't need to. Um, and it came with, sorry, and it came with those, um, a bunch of those waxes, like a whole bunch of these. It came with a whole bunch of small ones and like one or two of the big ones. So these are what it came with, a bunch of these. And then it came with some more, um, uh, the trays, the green trays. It came with this blue tray. It came with, I think, I don't know, it came with a bunch of different stuff. It came with some tools that I don't even know what to do with. So I'm going to have to watch some tutorials and figure those out. <laughs> so, but yeah. So with that being said, I am going to pause and show you what we worked on and then call it a night. So. I guess tonight we worked on these sections here and then a lot of the black sections here. And then when I'm done, like I said, I just kind of roll my little brayer over it just to make sure that everything's stuck down and thing gets, nothing pops up. And then I just kind of like leave lay this down here so that my plastic stays because once... I know they have, they're called cover minders, that they're magnetic and they hold your paper up. And I'm sure they can hold your little plastic paper down. But once you, you can see, once I've been folding it, it doesn't really lay flat anymore. So I just go like that. And this is what I use to keep it up to. That's what I do. Or I use the tray. <laughs> so I'll just use something on my desk. It's what I have, that's what I'm gonna use. So anyways, so thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys could, please leave me some feedback. Let me know what you guys thought of the whip in chat, what to call it. If you guys like this new series on my YouTube channel, and if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button. Please make sure you like the video and comment. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload new material, if you are subscribed and you hit that bell icon notification, you will be notified when I upload new content. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you spending the last 45 minutes with me. And until next time.